We wrap up this episode at the Chagall Artists House in Haifa, where a talented South African abstract expressionist artist is showcasing his new exhibit called Perpetual Energy. I caught up with Daniel Shorkin, who explained how his works make the spiritual understandable. With every brushstroke and every symbolic image, the works of Daniel Shorkind jump off the canvas. I keep on pinpointing my interest in art to when I was in middle school as a 14-year-old, just uh, being exposed to a Raphael painting and copying it. I just felt that time kind of evaporated and uh, just moved on in this beautiful way, or, or very quickly. And it was just a wonderful experience, and I realized this really is something I want to do. And Daniel has more than done it. Getting an undergraduate degree in fine art and philosophy, followed by a doctorate in his native South Africa, Daniel moved to Israel in 2018. The concept of Israel is also spiritual, and when we can get that right, then the, the physical works. In other words, it's from the inside out. Drawing from abstract expressionism, Daniel's colorful canvases are on display in a solo exhibition called Perpetual Energy at Haifa's Chagall Artists House. The very nature of existence, the fact that it is, is as a result of this energy. Now if you say the energy is, is finitely caused, then you would say, well, what caused that? And you go on indefinitely with you know, infinite regress. But that which creates this must itself be infinite. This signature painting uses arrows and Hebrew letters to represent the metaphysical. This one um, with the arrows, you know, like lines of force, like gravity. I mean, what is gravity? What is a force? What is a field? These are questions we don't really have the answers. We, have, we can quantify these things. There can even be a, a force field that pushes people away. Sometimes it can draw energy towards. Um, but yet, in the separation, we find a space that comes to the fore. And this space is not just black. It's not just negative or dark energy. Weird things are happening. You can even see this as biological or chemical or something like that. This painting depicts the five senses, which according to Kabbalah is our physical reality. And in the middle is the Hebrew letter Bet, the first letter in the Torah, representing creation itself. This is a weird kind of incantation of an ear and a nose and a mouth and an eye. These are the senses. So this, this is the, the means, the mechanism, the conduit, the perceptual apparatus that we have through which reality is channeled and funneled and condensed energy into our experience of reality. Bet is also number two. So that's duality. Existence implies duality. Daniel also depicts strong women and the metaphysical energy of the divine feminine in his works. Now, oddly enough, she's wearing to filling. I mean, in Kabbalah, there's a concept that she is the world. Something that caught the eye of curator Shaket Shapira. You can see the power. It's so small. But when you come inside and stand here, you can see the power of the creation. Daniel's other works on display include a representation of Mount Sinai with the infinite metaphysical power of the letter Aleph, and even more traditional portraits of enlightened male sages. There's also a, a messiah, messiah within each of us, and each of us should reach our own potential, and you know, we have a point of the Messiah within each of us. At the Chagall Artists' House in Haifa, Emily Francis, I-24 News.